Halloween night, and tonight, no better place to be than the Hell House, a place known for all kinds of satanic rituals, and countless people have been murdered and laid dead within these very walls. I've never known a place more dark, more demonic, and riddled with satanic practices than the Hell House. Beneath these very floors lies a mortuary slab that we have dubbed Satan's slab that has seen countless dead bodies as well as satanic rituals. <laughs> Downstairs in the basement where we get sort of all the negative entities, negative spirits coming through. Um, that's not to say that the walk follower is up here. Lay Satan's slab. Any demonic entities tonight, I am calling you out. I know what goes on down there and I know what has gone on. It is Halloween night, and I'm coming to speak with you. And this house has proven extremely dangerous, as the demons that possess this house also enjoy possessing those that enter it, as happened to a fellow paranormal investigator, Mark, on a previous investigation of ours. All heavy energy forms, all intruders. What kind of entity, if not demonic, could possess the power to take control of a grown adult's mind? We hope to find out. Not to mention, this very room we are in, we have seen with our own eyes, one of the last times we've investigated here, a ghost enter through that doorway. Literally just yes. floated in. Can you can I see that? Uh, let me just get that on shot. All right, now can you zoom into it? Yeah. Look at the size of that orb he caught right underneath the chair. That is huge. And that is not the last time that we will have captured this entity on camera. Is this room as cold as ice? Welcome to the Hell House, my friends. Truly one of England's most haunted homes. It is Halloween night, and I'm coming to speak with you. You can finally tell me your story, your side. Or you can... Make good on those threats you made last time. That's it. Interesting. So we're standing here now in the center of Hell House in our Nerve Operations Center. I'm with Simon and Helen of the Paranormal Investigation Team, Paranormal X. Mark sadly couldn't make it here tonight. Now Simon has a close connection to this building and he knows much about it, as well as both of these two have investigated this location numerous times quite extensively. Now, uh, Helen, could you tell me a little bit about your experiences here? What do you think we can look forward to seeing tonight? Lots of noises, um, orbs, and I think myself and I know Alex were quite sensitive to a lot of negative energy because I don't think there is negative energy here. Um, and I think the last time I was here, what I got spooked out was when you did the EVP downstairs mm -hmm. and it said my name. And that sort of freaked me out. Yeah, I remember that actually. That was that was quite intense. It's yeah. never. It, it's always an odd vibe when your name gets called out from the other side. And uh, if, what would you say you wouldn't want to happen tonight? What would be your fear of this place? For any of us to be harmed. All right. Has any of you guys ever actually been harmed here before yet, to your knowledge? I've no. not been harmed here before. Uh, yeah. No. Well. It is Halloween night after all, and they say the veil gets thinner this night, right? Yeah. And Simon, tell me a little bit about this place. Can you tell me any kind of history to start? Just some kind of possible entities that could be working around in here. Well, the building was built mid 16th century. So obviously it's got quite a few hundred years worth of history behind it already, Andrew. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's been countless people live here. There's probably been countless people die here. Um, it was, um, it, it was it was taken over by the coal board um, and um, then rented out to people and um, the last people that lived in here lived, in, lived here in the 80s. The actual last 
person to live here has actually sadly died now, but he, he, he actually didn't die in the property. Mm -hmm. But um, I have actually done a spirit box session in here, um, obviously on prior investigations, and had his name come through, um, and he is quite a talkative spirit. Um, I've, I've had downstairs um, something tell me to get out, mm -hmm. and um, obviously, you, you, you're walking up the stairs from the basement where the slab room is and you hear the voice say get out and you sort of question yourself to start with, you know, did you hear that, did you not hear that? Um, but I, I'm pretty, you know, well, I'm 99.9% .9 confident that I heard something tell me to get out of this building. So because this what place possibly has some kind of demonic entity based on the satanic rituals that have been done here and the evidence that we have gathered ourselves on our own investigations, we have a little experiment we're going to try and see if we can maybe anger the entity, maybe provoke him a little bit. I don't want to say anger, but confront him. So here we have an app. It's called the Solomon app. Simon had downloaded this and suggested we give it a go. Genius idea, I think. And essentially what it does is it reads the Lord's Prayer. Uh, but it's a little more freakier than that. How about you go ahead and let's start this and see if we can call up any spirits. Now, is that playing that in the Any demons that have possibly been summoned here? What do you think of this? Rile you up at all? Because I want to talk to you tonight. It's Halloween, the veil is thin. This is when the evil spirits are supposed to come out. After playing that eerie Lord's Prayer, we go on to explore the house to see what we might have awoken. Alright, so we're going to go walk over into uh, one of the bigger main rooms, the fireplace room, where we did the Gansfeld experiment previously and try and communicate with whatever came through. Last time, I do believe it claimed to be some kind of demonic entity, and it was telling us specific items, specific things that were in the room. Spirit, whoever is here at the Hell House, I'm here to talk with you. I want to communicate with you. You were very intimidating last time. Very intimidating, but we're not afraid, and we're here to show you we're not afraid. We just want to talk. Now, me and Helen a moment ago, while we were setting up, heard what sounded like, was it a woman's voice? I, I heard, heard a woman's voice. It was. I could have sworn it said... I heard a bang. I heard a bang. What was that? You heard a bang? Wait, 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 that one, no, you wasn't. No. No? Right. I've heard, oh, it yeah. came from the, over there. Yeah, I heard a bang. Over there. Yeah. Now, that obviously could be outside, but... Oh, who knows? Alex, could you do me a favor? Yep. Um, I want you to turn off night vision for a second, just to show them what we're doing. Yep. Or what we're seeing. In fact, everybody, this here is what we can see. It is pitch black in here for us. You're seeing the night vision. Now, let's get that night vision back on. absolute darkness and we are going lights out if I can just figure out how to turn this lights out right. <laughs> there we go completely dark for us Simon do you have the spirit box I have the spirit box can you I've come so got the ovulus and the REM pod all right let's set the REM pod down on the floor uh, down on there somewhere right there is fine yeah if you okay. can stand with me let's do a spirit box real quick and just see what we can yep. get <clears throat> oh, sorry, all right that's the uh, spirit box. Okay, hey, hold on, I just need to... Yep. Let's put the ovulus on. Alright. Helen, do you mind holding the ovulus? And if it says anything... Anything relevant whatsoever, just read it off for us. I'll hold on. Ready? Yep. Alright, so, again, we're completely lights out now. Okay. And it's time to do the spirit box and see if we can communicate with what was talking to us last time. 
OK, so we're going to turn the spirit box on and we're going to scan in FM and we're going to scan in reverse. Who's here with us right now? Here, Halloween night, in the Hell House. Who wants to come and talk with us? The red pod, the red pod. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now that, we were nowhere, we are nowhere near that. My friend, are you standing right here? Let me see that real quick. Are you, you standing there right... There is nobody touching that. Can you set that off again for us to let us know that that's you here? What did it say? Tilt. Tilt? Yep. Metal. I don't know, sorry, Andrew. It's okay. My friend, we just caught you standing here with us. God, I'm getting chills really bad. It has dropped in you. Yeah. Yeah. The temperature is ice yeah. cold, yeah. which is normal when spirit come in because to manifest, they have to draw the energy out of the room, of anything, and it has gone ice cold. How many spirits are here with us at this moment in time? One. 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 Was that you that's just set the REM pod off? The, the device on the floor with the lights on? This evening. Please do not be afraid of us, we mean you no harm. We come with peace, love and respect. And we just seek to communicate with you tonight. If that was you that set the device off, please say yes through the device Andrew is holding in his hand. Run. Run? Run. Show, show the camera. The obelisk has just said run. Maybe you can't see that in night vision. Hold on. See if I can get it. No. That's okay. So the obelisk, has just said, the obelisk has just told us to run, and we've been we've been told all night to get out. Why do we need to run? Is there something dark here? With no further responses from the spirit box, we decide to make our way downstairs to the dreaded Satan slab. Spirit, we're coming downstairs. I want to communicate with whoever it is that's down here. Whoever keeps telling people to get out. Whoever that these Satanists have been trying to summon. I'm not afraid. down here. Let's make our way into the slab room then. It smells burning down here. A little bit. So, as you guys can see, this is the mortuary slab. There is, we discovered earlier while scoping out the place, dried candle wax. Somebody recently was doing some kind of ritual down here on this old mortuary slab on Satan's slab. All right, slab. so we're doing now another experiment that has worked with us before, um, but this time our table, instead of a regular table, is an old mortuary slate. We're doing automatic writing, also known as spirit writing. Um, essentially, it's very similar to a Ouija board, except for instead of a planchette, spirit uses your hand to write what they need to say. As you guys know, clear your mind, think of only one question you want to ask, and put yourself in a trance. 
You all ready? Yeah. Now, are you guys all going to be thinking the same question and see who gets the response? I think probably we are. All right. What question are you guys going to ask? What can you agree? What's your name? Me too. What's your name? <laughs> then, first question is, what is your name? Go ahead and begin whenever you guys are ready. So the obelisk has just said, enemy. Is that one of you guys? What? Making that crackling noise? footsteps again out there. Keep doing the automatic riding, I'll be right back. Somebody out here? Seems to have stopped now. Supposed to be. It's interesting. It wasn't me moving that. <laughs> like, I, it was weird. Caleb? Maybe an L E B? It's no, because it's B. in my head. Like, you know when you're doing it, you can yeah. tell what letter... It's weird. It's like you know what letter that they're trying to get across. Yeah. To me, it's, it was an E. An E and an L. And an I. Like, Eliza or something. That looks like a B. That's de definitely an E. Mm. It was like Eliza or... Because yeah. my mum's name's Elizabeth. And it was almost like they were trying to spell... Eliza or Elizabeth. Just then we captured this chillingly clear EVP. We couldn't quite make it out, so let us know in the comments down below what you believe this could be saying. Check it out. First name. Alright, well, if we have one response... Under? Okay, let's move to the next question then and see if it reacts to something different this time. So, what do you guys think should be the next question? Yeah, I was going to say, how old are you? How old are you? Alright, that's a good question. Something already. Mm hmm. Wow, 
was like the number 20 to me or 26. 26. Yeah. Twenty twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty six a lot. Oh, okay. So we got an answer already. We got a name and a possible age. It seems yeah. so far, Alex. Um, you got something. I, I was just about to start writing twenty six <laughs> and you said oh we've got a number. <laughs> no way. It's the exact same number I was thinking of was twenty six. So that was like the start of me too. But I didn't get to finish it. Okay. Yeah. And Helen, have you managed to get anything yet? No. Not yet. That's all right. So, a third question. When did you die? Yeah. What year? What year did you die? That is a fascinating question. <coughs> See if we can find out what year they died. Simon, I saw you removing a bunch. Can you scoot your paper here real quick? Oh, 1854. Is that it? I'm not even joking, that's the number that came into my head. Yeah. But I blocked it out because I didn't want to... For some reason I kept getting that number and I was like, when I do this I want my mind to just be clear and let yeah. my them do what they've got to do with my hand and that's what came out. Show me yours, can you pull it over here? Yeah, 1884. <laughs> To be fair, that looks like that could be 1881 as well. Can I see it again? It looks four, but it could be a one. Mm. It could just be the way they moved your hand across. Mm. It was strong with me. As soon as I put my hand on the paper, <coughs> my hand started just... That weird feeling. Isn't yeah, it? it's, you feel someone pulling your hand to do it. What's truly fascinating about this is after the investigation, we got in contact with someone who runs the council for protecting this building, and there indeed was a woman named Elizabeth within this home in 1881, recorded on the census. With my own eyes, a couple months ago, float into the room from that doorway right there. Can you show them the doorway real quick? Yep, no worries. This doorway, I watched you literally float right up until about this point where you disappeared and it was stunning don't get me wrong absolutely stunning and me alex and mark of paranormal x all saw it with their own eyes could you do that for me again if you remember we did not get scared we did not run we were very impressed it was amazing it was would you do that for me? Oh, I'm getting so cold all of a sudden, like, the chills are really hitting me. Oh, God, it got really cold. My friend, are you here? Let me get a visual recorder out. Let's try an EVP while I'm calling out. Okay. You might be able to hear Good the voice once more. Wait, it's gone cold. It's gone really it ice cold. It's ice cold. You can really feel it. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start an EVP now. My friend, can you come talk to me? Can you come into this room like you have before and talk to me? Who are you? What is your name? You guys catching my breath on camera? Yeah. It was unbelievably cold out of nowhere. Is that you making this room as cold as ice? Just then we have captured something absolutely amazing. It's a shadow orb. It seems to appear upon request and disappear right into me. It seems the spirit did want to show himself after all. Why do you not want us here tonight? Simon. 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 Yeah. Do you have a message? Do you have a message for me? Is there something that you'd like to say to me? Yeah. 
Come on, spirits, I'm stood here. I'm waiting for you to reply to my question. Do you have a message for me? After several hours of investigating uh, the Hell House again tonight, um, we have witnessed and experienced quite a number of really, really, I don't even know the word for it right now, stunning evidence, I believe. Um, the disembodied voices is probably my favorite so yeah. far that mm -hmm. we've heard here tonight. Um, the REM pod activity from the start, spirit box responses telling us to get out over and over. Quite fantastic. Yeah. Um, now, as the night comes to a close, uh, we're going to go ahead and say a prayer for the spirit here. Um, one that we might maybe be a woman or perhaps a child, like the disembodied voice we're hearing. Whoever it may be, though, they do deserve, like all, to cross over because I think an eternity in this hell house, it, that is a fate nobody truly deserves. Spirits here of the Hell House, as we deem it, of this hall. I'd like to pray to the Angel Michael that he comes down and guides you toward the light. That you can finally cross over. I need you to seek the light. Become one with it within yourself and your soul. I need you to take his hand and go cross over so you can finally be at rest. Your time on this earth is done, and it is only up to you now to be able to cross over. What? Keep going. Did you hear that? Yeah, that. just keep going. That was awesome. My friend, if you can hear us right now, we're saying a prayer for you. If you'd like to step into the room before we go. Your time here on this earth is done, and you can cross over whenever you'd like. I hope we can help in any way possible, and we will be back. Who knows how many more times. But hopefully, by the end of our visits here, this will also be the end of your stay here as well. May God rest your soul. Amen. Amen.